In this video, you're going to learn how to create a multilingual site using WordPress. Here we already have WordPress installed on our site. If you don't have a website yet and you want to create one, you will find a video in the description below to help you create your own website. We're going to be running the default theme from WordPress 2019. And to start creating our multilingual website, we're going to click on plugin, add new. And here we're going to search for a plugin called Polyling. This one. Click on install now. Click on activate. Once the plugin is installed, the first thing we're going to do is set up the languages. You click on their languages, languages. And here you can choose different languages. For this website, we're going to be creating a bilingual site using English and French. You pick your language, you click on add new language, here you can see that English has been added, you choose your second language and you click on add new language. Once you've set up your languages, here we get a message saying there are posts, pages, categories or tags without language. So we're going to fix this. So you click on post, all posts, and here we have the default WordPress post. Now that we've set up our languages, you can see the two different flags over here. And what we need to do is edit this post with the two different languages. So you click on edit. And if you look on your right, you should see your languages section. This one is English. So you can choose which one is which. And then you click on update. Once you've updated your post, click on all posts. And we're gonna verify that it's been set up. So if you take a look right here, you can see that now this article is set up in English. And if you want to translate it in French, you click on plus, you're going to be redirected to the post, which is in French and empty for now. And here you can start with translation. You can add your title and start writing. Obviously here, I'm not going to be translating exactly all the posts and pages. I just want you to see and learn how to make the changes. Once you've translated your post, you click on publish. And if you go back on all posts, you now have two posts, the French version and the English version. So now let's continue with the pages. You go under pages, click on all pages. Here we don't need that page. I'm just going to delete it. Click on trash. And you're going to be doing the same thing for the pages. Click on sample page. Here you pick your language, click on update. Click on all pages, English is set up, click on plus to set up the French language, you add your title, and you click on publish, publish. Go back to pages, and here again you see that you now have the French page and the English one. Now that we've created different posts and pages for our two languages, we're going to create our menu. So you click under Appearance, Menus, and here you create your first menu in English. Give it a name, click on Create. You can add your sample page, select your English page, click on Add Menu. It should be showing here. Then select a Location, Primary English, then click on Save Menu. Then click on Create a New Menu to create our French menu. Here you give it a name. This is going to be our French menu. You select the French page, click on Add Menu, and Display Location, you're going to click on Primary French, Primary Français. Click on Save Menu, and that's it. We now have our two menus. Now let's go check out our page, Visit Site. So here we have our website, but what we want to have is a way to switch from a language to another, from English to French. For this, we're going to install a widget in the footer section. Go under your website, go back to dashboard. You can click on dashboard or go to widgets. So it's under appearance widgets. I'm just going to remove all the widgets in the footer section. You open it and you delete. And I'm going to add the language switcher. You click on it and you drag it to the footer section. You can give it a name. You can choose to display a drop down menu, language names, flags, force link to front page, hide the current language, or hide languages with no translation. Here I'm going to choose display language names and display flags. Click on save. And if I go back to my website, click on visit site, I now have my widget with the language switcher right here. Once you added the language switcher, you're gonna go under languages, 
here strings translations and here you can change your site title the tagline and the date and time format here I'm going to translate my title my tagline here you can change the date format and the time format and click on save changes now we can visit our website click on visit site and there it is we currently have our English website with our post with the English date format and if I click on comment we also have the correct time format if I click on sample page I have my English page if I go back to the home page and here I can switch to the French version so here you click on French Francais, and there you have your French version with the French page and the French article and here you see that I have the French date format and if I leave a comment I also have the French time format if I click on my page you get to the French version of the page you can always switch back to English by clicking on the language or on the flag now let's take a look at our URL you can see that the default URL is in English and if you click on the French version of the website you now have yourwebsite.com dash fr now if you want to change this you go under your dashboard languages settings URL modifications settings and here you can choose to hide or not the URL language so if I uncheck this box and click on save changes go back to my site and now that I'm on the English version if I check my URL I have my website dash en and if I go on the French version I also have the dash fr so you can always customize this you can always go back to your dashboard languages settings and here I'm gonna leave it checked you also have different options here this option is gonna set the language of your site according to the browser so here let me save my changes here my browser is in French so if I decide to go under this URL I'll be automatically redirected to the French page because my browser is in French now I have another browser which is Google Chrome that is set in English if I type mywebsite.com enter I will be redirected to the English version so that's another great feature with this plugin now if I go back on my dashboard under languages settings you have other settings right here that you can customize you can activate or deactivate all the different features and that's it that's how you create a multilingual site with WordPress thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.